to everybody. I'm going to go to the river. Well, of course, I've already been, but that'll be in this video. But first, we got a little bit of mail call. Um, Jersey History Hunters. I never did a mail call for them, but I do still have their card. And their sticker is right here. Dead center. Thank you both. So we'll read the card. It says, thank you so much. And inside, thanks for supporting our channel. You rock. Audra and Rachel, Jersey History Hunters. So I thank you both. That's cool. I sent them a sticker, so we did a trade. And uh, right here, we've got this um, trimmer router that um, Dingus and Eva, well, Dingus, Eva, Eva's his dog, so. <laughs> but, but Dingus sent this, Dingus and Eva YouTube channel, really cool. And he also sent these router bits. And um, he kind of, he's kind of somewhat of a long distance part of Green Mountain Gold Trap in a sense. But so thank you, Dingus. It came in one piece. I still have not done anything with it yet. But anyway, and then we have something from Eminem Prospecting. Did a sticker trade with them, and I love their sticker. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Wife's chasing him for the, the big old nugget. And he's running for his life. And she's got a pickaxe. I don't know. Are you going to go after and pick the gold or are you going to hit him? <laughs> I love that. A little note with it. Let me get it open. Come on. Okay, thanks for the sticker trade. We appreciate your support. Thanks, Eminem Prospecting. So I thank you guys too. Um, and I'm going to stick this sticker right up there now. Are you going to be able to see it? The Green Mountain Gold Trap Shop. There. Sticker number two. Alright, so that's it for the mail call. And now for the rest of the video, we'll go to the river. I had my, uh, my best day so far this season. Got back into the uh, location, the new location, the posted property. And very, very few people are allowed in there. And a lot of the people that actually go in there, they live in the in the area and they have permission by the landowner to go in there. They don't gold prospect. So it's like pretty much virgin ground. And there's a lot of really, really nice chunky, chunky black sand in there. And I did, I did pretty good. I got about 50, 60 pieces today, maybe some more. But um, so we'll go check it out. Enjoy. Yes, what is it, uh, April 2nd, finally able to get back down into this pretty rough road. Um, it's pretty much the earliest time of year you can get in here. Um, you try it any other time and you're not getting back out. You can get in, but you can't get out. So I'm in and I can get out. And as you can see, this is posted property. I'm here by permission. And this is the new location that we've been working starting. Well, I started a couple, two, three years ago, I came down in here, but didn't keep coming. Last year was the heavy year. This is where I did a lot of, a lot of hanging out with Hung. And uh, she's, she's away right now, but due back on the 15th. So I'm gonna get down in here and uh, see if I can find anything. If I do, I'll let you know. All right. Anybody who uh, visited Green Mountain Gold Trap channel last year recognizes that spot. Good inside bend here. And 
up there, it takes another bend. So there's a straight shot, and that's the, uh, now that there's no growth, you get a better look at the mound. I mean, it's a good 15 feet high of old trees from Irene. But before that bottled up, well, even after it bottled up, water was still raging through here and coming right straight across and hitting over there. And of course, <laughs> it's all just whirling and swirling. I got a lot of gold over in there up in those little pieces of bedrock, little pockets and stuff. That's where I wanted to get to today. But this current is still a bit strong. I don't know if I dare try to cross. So I did some picking around in here. My first pan is not even quite a half a pan of material classified down and there was about 10 pieces in it so I've moved some rocks over in there I'm gonna try to get a setup right in front of where the trap is now right there and just run some of this material and see what happens so I'll let you know all right I got my setup started digging already <coughs> I'm digging right over in here I mean this is like somewhat of an inside bend all these rocks causing low pressure zones deepest point at the t at the very end of it and I'm pulling out some pretty good looking material here rich rich with black black sands heavy sands let me see if I can and I am seeing gold I've seen a few pieces get caught right at the end of the, or the beginning of the classification plate there, so really a lot, a lot of black, heavy, heavy sands here. I mean, you can even see it in different spots. <coughs> I'm seeing it in the sands right here, all these little pockets over in here. Uh, there's a line of it right up here. Right there. Of course, this is all still frozen. Anything above the water level is still pretty, uh, pretty solid. But Hung did a lot of digging over in here, and she did pretty good. Did pretty good. I told her to come down here and try, and she did. But she said she didn't do that great. But she doesn't get in the water. Not really. I mean, only as deep as her rubber boots let her go. So I get all the deep stuff. <laughs> and that is where I want to do my underwater work this year. Right over in there. Oh yeah. I know there's going to be gold. That's a deep swimming hole. Well, it used to be a swimming hole. People don't come up here anymore. But um, there, there's going to be gold in there. I mean, I found some chunky, good-sized pieces over in there. And I found some good stuff over in there and over in there. I mean, that gravel bar is going to have good gold in it, but that's, that's really bony. But anyway, I'm going to keep working. I'll let you know what happens. Well, since I filmed last, it's only been about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm seeing gold. I can see a piece right from here on the classification plate. But there's a good... One, two, three, four, five, eight pieces caught inside the classification plate. But there's one nice chunky one right there. Right there. Chunky. Back into the chunky. Chunky cheddar. Green Mountain Gold Trap likes chunky cheddar. But it keeps the small stuff too. Fly poop. It'll keep it, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep digging because there's gold in there. Gold, cheddar. Today's gonna be my first good day of the season, I think. Yeehaw. All right, back to work. Bye. All right, it's been probably about an hour. I've got the flow blocked off to the skid plate and I'm ready to do a clean out. I just washed the gold. There was a good 15 pieces at least on the classification plate. Just wash that down in, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a clean out. I don't have my other camera, so I can't film while I'm doing it, but 
I'll show you the results after I'm done. Again, this has only been about an hour of digging in that hole right there. All right, I've panned pretty much all the blondes off, but look at this. Back into the really, really coarse black sand. I mean, this stuff is really coarse. Doesn't surprise me considering that big piece I saw on the classification plate. But I think I got a place I can set the camera here. I just set this rock up. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. Get this band back. Water's still pretty cold. I can't wait to get underwater. That's what I really love to do. Go down there and scrape that bedrock clean. planning on coming out here today. But, I went outside and noticed it wasn't too bad. And I said, you know what? I'm out of here. Glad I did. Too shabby for an hour. 
down to the nitty gritty now. over here and the rest is all right there it's some chunky stuff too and there's some really 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 tiny 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 stuff I don't know how well you can see it but this camera always looks blurry to me not too bad not too bad that's my best one that's my my best run so far this year so I suspected that this would be a decent location that's why I had hung check it but she always picks up in these areas up in here I know she worked over in there last year but it's you know a lot of silt but you can see a lot of a lot of big rocks dropped out over here I mean a lot some of it came from the embankment but not all of it so there's gonna be gold all along this edge to a certain point maybe to that stump right there but then that's the uh, that's the extreme end of the inside bend right there but there's gonna be gold in this all right so I'm gonna keep firing around look at this big uh, big hunk of quartz that I dug out of this hole it was stuck down in there nice all right do some more. I really want to get over there. Boy, do I want to get over there. <laughs> Even if I just bring my pan and classifier, shovel, maybe some picking tools. I don't know. I might try. I'm not going to carry stuff over though. All right. If anything more happens, I'll let you know. Well, I tried to cross. I got as far as those rocks right there on the back side of them. And just the other side, that current really picks up. I'm not going to chance it. Not going to do it. So I'm going to pick everything up and work my way down around the corner here. See if I can find some place to dig down there. See you in a bit. There. Look familiar? Water's really riffing right now. <laughs> totally coming over all that bedrock, except for that one little piece over there. Usually, parts of this are dry during the normal water flow time of year. But, hey Brad, that tree's gone. It's gone! I don't know where it is. Right up here is where Hung found that eight plus mesh picker. Right up in here. Normally I can get a set up right there, but it's not happening today. It's 
so I've got water coming down this inside bend to a certain point so I'm going to take advantage of that and do some classifying and panning hey I just spider hello Oh, buddy. Cool. But when the water's really high, it's raging right through these woods and everything. So, when the water gets to this point, low pressure zone. I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna dig a little bit right in here. Just do a few pans and probably call it quits. I don't know, we'll see. But there's no place for me to set up really. I'd have to haul material 40, 50 yards. And I'm not doing that. So I'm going to dig here. If anything good comes in, I'll let you know. It looks like a big hunk of hematite right there, tipping my foot. A lot of it here. Alright, catching a bit, maybe. 